Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today, doing beef plate ribs over on the SNS Deluxe Kettle Grill. Enjoy. So I was in my local Costco yesterday. Came across this guy. The beef plate ribs. $5.99 a pound for choice. Um, I've never seen these in a Costco before. I was super excited. I guess I had a meat gasm. Looks like there's two in here. So I'll take uh, one out. We'll cook today over on the SNS kettle. Um, freeze the other one. But super pumped. We're just going to jump right into a little trim. Get off some of the silver skin. Get it ready to go. Okay, let's open this up. We'll see exactly what we got here. Again, it looks like two. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so there's two. Oh, yeah, baby. Alright, so we got two of these guys here. This one looks a little bit smaller, so I think I'll be able to uh, freeze that one a little bit easier. So, we'll just work on this guy. So you guys have seen my setup before on my other low and slow cook, so I got about six briquettes here. Get this in the floor. And I'm just gonna get it started. I control my temp off the top. I have my bottom shut off with my smoke hole open. Pop a little drip pan in here. the grates. Now we'll go get the meat ready to go as this stabilizes temp and I have hot water in my water reservoir. Keep the top wide open to see what temp we're at. Going real simple today, just a little dub sauce on the outside. I call this a binder. And just going over it with the tried and true Montreal steak seasoning. We have stabilized between about 225 and 250. So let's get her on. Now I'm not going to run a probe today. I'm going to have a drip pan uh, down below there. But we're just going to run this guy for about four hours before we even pop the lid again. See you in about four hours. Here we are, four hours in. Uh, holding just over 250. Looking pretty. Well, surprisingly, it's a lot longer than I, th or a lot closer than I thought it would be at this point. Yeah, we're some about uh, 190. Alright, pop the lid back here. So we're shooting for about two. 203 or so. Yeah, it still had some resistance to it there, but we'll just keep rolling. So 
Take a look, about six hours in. You can see there's still plenty of charcoal there. Should have filled up my water pan in there. Oh, yeah. No resistance whatsoever here. I'm about 205. 202. See if you can see that. Oh, oh. Alright, let's get this off, slice into them, and have a taster. Here we go, we've been resting up. Kind of debating. Sometimes I, I cut them and leave them on the bone here. I'm thinking. What am I thinking? I'm thinking they'll just come right out here, at least that one anyways. Let's cut into this guy here. Peek at that baby. Alright, let's take a little piece off and come on back for that taster. Alright, let's take a little taster. So I did end up taking them off the bone there. and just slice them with this little piece here. Nice bark on it. Let's pop her in. Really getting that nice bark. You can taste that. Montreal just coming through. You get the garlic, the salt, the pepper. It tastes absolutely fantastic. That meat is so juicy and tender. You get that little fat in there too. That's some good stuff. Hey, if you guys got a Costco close to you, I'm not sure if they're in every one. They were in mine and I got lucky. Again, it came in a two pack, $5.99 a pound. Great deal, great value. Hey, right, that's it. That's all I got for you today. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like and put a subscribe icon for you. Right there. Some more SNS Kettle videos right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.